All right, got my Wukong Prime, and now it's time to make the video. Oh, wait, shoot, I can't use the staff until I level him. All right, I guess it's time for some Onslaught. Coolio, good squad. Should be easy stuff. Get him leveled up in no time. Hey, guys, how you doing? I've got space herpes. <laughs> no. No, 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 please, maybe, maybe I wasn't infected. No, there's, a, there's a chance, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please tell me I wasn't. No, 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 Lotus, damn it, all the- Greetings and salutations, my fellow Tenno of various cultures. Yes, that's right, all of you, even the uncultured ones, you know who you are. Today I would like to discuss with you a very important topic. It's not often I get very serious with you all, but this is a special exception. Do yourselves a favor and fasten your seatbelts, because I'm about to get rather heat procked. As demonstrated in that short little clip, that poor soul's Wukong Prime is now infected with the Helminth Cyst. For those of you who don't know what that is, the cyst is something you can get after acquiring a nidus. You can go into this back room here and sit in the living dentist chair and get yourself infected like a psychopath, and after seven days the cyst will be fully grown. You can then use it with a Kubrow egg to make yourself a Helminth Charger. You know, if you're the kind of disgusting lump of infested tissue sick enough to do that. However, there is zero purpose for this cyst other than the Helmuth Charger. Other than making more to be some deranged alien dog hoarder, there is no reason to get more cysts. So what a shame it is that we don't have a reasonable choice in the matter! You can contract the cyst without getting a nidus if you have a warframe that has not been previously infected. All you have to do is come within close proximity of someone who has been infected. And at that point, you will have to wait seven days until it is fully grown to get rid of it. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. You have to wait seven days to get rid of it. At no point during the growth of this thing can you get rid of it early. And if it's not obvious enough, it looks disgusting. It's a giant, pulsating, uncolorable mess that appears on the side of your Warframe's neck, and you just have to deal with it for seven days until you can get in the Helminth Chamber and get rid of it. As you can imagine, this creates significant problems. First of all, imagine, say, a person who makes comedy skits for Warframe wanting to use a specific Warframe for the process of making a video. Now imagine that Warframe gets a cyst. Now the creator has to either edit every single appearance of the cyst, or only present the Warframe at specific angles. Oh, and it will only get worse. Perhaps they need to re-record a scene the following day. Now the cyst, having grown in size, will present an inconsistency in the presented media. Not to mention, of course, the giant pink squirming mass that everyone is going to see and comment on! Oh boy, now wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> it's jarring, it breaks the flow of the creation, and it looks really, really bad. I mean, come on, you can't even color the damn thing. What, will every Warframe just have to be bright pink if they've been infected? No, unacceptable. Such content must be pristine. I will accept no less. And now, let me express my concern for all of you as to why this unbreakable cyst is still to this day such a huge problem. <clears throat> Oh, what's that? You got a new Warframe and you want to take an awesome Captura with it? Oh, shame! Looks like you got space pimples! See you in a week! Oh, what's that? You spent eight dollars on a brand new skin for your Warframe? Oh, it would be a real damn shame if you couldn't enjoy it! Oh, what's that? You bought Wukong Prime Access for hundred and forty dollars! Be a real damn shame if you had a bright pink blob wiggling on the side of your neck! Look at this great value you just got out of your purchase! Isn't it wonderful?! Oh, but Loki, why don't you just play solo if you don't want to get infected? Oh, yes, of course. Let me just never play with other people in a multiplayer online game designed to be played in a squad of other people. Let me just be alone or forever then. In retrospect, I'm somewhat okay with this. So, I think I've made my point on how horrid this thing is. So now let me ask you. Why do we not have the option to remove it at any point yet? It has been years since this has been implemented, with countless complaints and arguments pleading for its removal. Yet here we are. What argument do you have against this? Oh, you don't want people to be able to get rid of it early? All right, fine then. Give us the option to hide it like we can prime details for skins, or perhaps with the creator mode. In a game like Warframe, where one of the biggest components of the game is the immense player customization, we should not have to deal with one of the biggest look destroyers ever implemented into a game. It's atrocious. It's disgusting. Every time I get a new Warframe, my first thought is not, oh joy, I can't wait to customize this Warframe. It's, well, guess I have to wait a week to enjoy it. So please, did extremes. Please, on behalf of everyone in the Warframe community, please invalidate this video. Please, in the next patch, give us the option to be able to get rid of this forsaken pimple. Please, I beg of you, 
Set us free, digital extremes! Set us free!